y squared minus x squared equals 10, y equals x squared minus 32. I could put x squared minus 32 in for y, but then I'd have to foil all of that and my numbers would get quite large. Another way to approach that would be to solve for the x squared, since I have an x squared in the first one. So x squared would equal, if I added 32 to both sides, x squared would equal y plus 32. Now let's substitute the y plus 32 into our first equation. So y squared minus, instead of the x squared, I'm going to place y plus 32, of course, equals 10. Now let's simplify by distributing our negative, or negative 1 if you want to think about it that way, throughout. So y squared minus y minus 32 equals 10, and y squared minus y, I could subtract 10 from both sides to give me negative 42 equals 0. Now let's factor. So y plus 6 and y minus 7 would equal 0. Set each piece equal to 0, y plus 6 equals 0, or y minus 7 equals 0. I could subtract 6 from both sides to give me y equal negative 6, or adding 7 to both sides to give me y equal 7. Now that I have two y values, I have to find the corresponding x values. To do so, let's remember that x squared equals y plus 32. So if y equals negative 6, then x would equal negative 6 plus 32, and that's an x squared. So x squared would equal 26, positive 26, and then take the square root of both sides. So x would equal positive negative square root of 26. This is actually two values. So remember when y equal negative 6, then I'm going to have positive square root of 26, negative 6, and negative square root of 26, negative 6. My other case, if y equals 7, then x squared would equal 7 plus 32, or x squared would equal 39. Taking the square root of both sides, x will equal positive negative square root of 39. Again, this is two answers when y equals 7. So I have the solution of square root of 39, 7, and negative square root of 39, 7. So here I have four solutions. Square root of 26, negative 6, negative square root of 26, negative 6, square root of 39, 7, and negative square root of 39, 7.